there's a couple elements in there. It wasn't that somebody was really speculating on, on the nickel market. What happened was obviously the, the Russian situation hit and, and that took like maybe 20% of the nickel off the market in almost overnight. And what happened was that the major manufacturer of nickel products in, in China, you know, had part of his, you know, normal course business of managing their work and process inventory right. had had derivatives set up to, and of course they went, they went afoul because of the, of the, the of the, of the, the, the situation and the very sharp traders realized they were in, in a pickle and they squeezed them, you know, so that, you know, so it wasn't like a massive speculation. It was just a, you know, a historic it. event really. Uh, but it, you know, it, 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 it sort of hammers home the fact that ultimately the supply and demand curve, which is what drives pricing in all these commodities for nickel is looking very favorable for, you know, a very bullish nickel price. It we basically have more demand than supply, which means prices are going up. If you love that clip, give us a like, then hit the link to watch the full video. Don't forget to subscribe.